What's up everyone, it's your boy Shaki here, coming to you with the first episode of a game that I've been playing in alpha. It is called A Twisted Path to Renown. This western style looter shooter is an incredibly fun addition to my repertoire of games that I like to play. I've been playing this new game in alpha for about a week now, and I am addicted. It is really fun, and it's on the precipice of being released to the community at large. So I hope you guys can sit back, relax, and enjoy some of the gameplay. Let's get it started. Now after setting up your character in your hideout with all of your loot, you go into raid and you're given an opportunity to know exactly where you spawn. In this instance, I spawned southeast of the swamp and I want to make my way as a solo to Fort Barry. It is the hardest compound to attack. However, you can bring up to four other people with you in your raids. So definitely squad up if you're looking for that. I did hear some gunshots over there. So I wanted to investigate and maybe get into the action right off the get. Now, as you're navigating this twisted path to renown, you definitely have to be sure you're looking around, making sure you don't run into AIs that are patrolling the area or any type of aggressive animals like boars or wolves. Whoa, that was a big sounding weapon I just heard off to the right there. So I'm going to be sure to be careful about my engagements here. I definitely don't want to get involved in something that's a little bit too hot for me to handle. I do have 45 caliber weapons. So while it does hit pretty heavy at medium range, I got to be careful of those snipers. But in terms of fighting, whatever I just heard there, I'm thinking that's a bolt action 39.9. That's probably going to be a little too strong for me to take head on. But luckily the maps are so expansive. We got an 8 by 8 kilometer grid. So we're talking 64 square kilometers or maybe miles. I'm not actually sure, but it does show a grid system 8 by 8 on the map and it does certainly feel like you are running for ages. If you got something you're going from one corner of the map to the other, definitely pack yourself some food and water because you're going to be in it for the long haul. There is a stamina bar in the bottom left with a weight system. If you are overweight or you don't have your character leveled up enough, running across the map with a lot of items and not not enough food and water is going to be a death sentence. So buckle up. Okay, we're getting into the Fort Barry area. This is going to be one of the heavier areas. Lots of AI that are defending this fort, as well as a boss that drops a key to unlock a couple of other areas inside of the fort. Now this fort is surrounded by open expanse. You really want to try and get either close to the walls or snipe from a distance. I don't really have the weaponry to be shooting from a distance. I don't have any scopes, but I do hear a gunfight and I want to get involved in that because I'm thinking that these players are getting rid of most of the bots and I might be able to find an opening to get in there and loot as much as I want. Alright, so it looks like we found the offending party that's attacking the fort. Let's see if we can get the drop on them. Now in this game, headshots reign supreme. Now it looks like we got two players here, one that's already been looted, so I would assume that was a teammate that died already, and they grabbed his stuff in lieu of trying to escape. Now 1v1, these bots are not that hard, but when you start getting into the twos and three bots versus one, you got yourself a big problem. Try and keep cover, try and make sure you're not getting shot by multiples at the same time, and maybe do a little cheeky looting. Like I said before, you always want to be clicking those heads, especially against the bots. If we're talking about reloading, always get cover and check to see that your gun isn't going below 20% durability, otherwise you might get some misfires. Hey! 
Now that you know that the bots are done because there are no more voice commands going off anymore, I don't hear them trying to yell at me, so I'm almost positive that this place is clear of AI. We just gotta be worried about any other players that are trying to do what I did and take the opportunity to push gunfire and third party. Now at this point, I'm gonna be checking all the bodies to try and find the captain as well as looting up the players. This is a good opportunity to stop, drink a little bit of water, eat some food, just to make sure you've got your levels sorted out. It's one of those things in this game, it is hyper realistic, so you want to be sure you're always on top of all of your dials to make sure you're not running low on food or water, similar to something that you might find on DayZ. It's very punishing, so make sure you always keep an eye on that. Now, luckily, these players were not able to anticipate me coming from behind, so I was able to shoot both of them in the head, easily dispatch them, and grab a couple of their heels as well as a little bit of their food. They didn't have a whole heck of a lot, but I gotta say, if they did see me and it was a 2v1 situation, I would be in a desperate situation. Unfortunately, I did not see that there was still a patrol up so they were coming back to the fort and had to engage and we had to quickly dispatch these guys too and continue on with our looting but i gotta say this area on the wall outside is definitely an exposed area especially because i did hear a lot of players fighting and especially because of that 39.9 player that i heard off to my right as i was coming to fort barry so we really got to get inside and try and get a bit more protection as well as a solo i always like to look at my exit strategy it looks like we've got the military wagon so i need to disguise myself as a military player so that i I can get out as quickly as I can if I need to. Luckily, this place is full of military units on the ground. I don't think they're going to be using those uniforms anymore, so I'm going to quick grab one just to be sure if I need to. The going gets a little too hot. Wait a minute, what the? player. Wow, okay, so another player on the ground. You can definitely tell that they were players because it doesn't have the military uniform on, but luckily these guys are very giving. They're just willing to come over here and lay their lives down on the line and give me all their money and their heels. Now, I'm still looking for that coveted captain, but you know that it's going to be him because he's going to have patches on his shoulders. He's going to look like an actual captain, maybe not with a fancy hat, but he's definitely going to have different types of armor on and the coveted key, the key to open up all the doors in this compound. Lucky for me, this guy dropped a two slot belt so I was able to upgrade a little bit more space on my body but other than that just a little bit of money and we keep moving on oh no the 39.9 player oh geez game. All right, so it looks like we got ourselves a major upgrade on the rifle front. We're going to do a little quick switcheroo here, grab all his ammo, grab his snub-nosed rifle, and loot till our heart is content. Oh yeah, baby. Now, one of my favorite things about this game is the sheer amount of statistics behind each of the ammo types that you can either craft or find in-game. So this leads down a myriad path of different things that you need to loot and craft to be able to get to that point. You need to be able to get bullet casings, you need to get the actual powders, you need to get different attachments for the weapons. There are so many different things that you can loot in this game to get yourself to the precipice of top head honcho. Either stealing the items outright or having yourself a crafting bonanza in the workshop. This game has a lot of different things. I'm not exactly sold on the whole idea of buying this right away. I think that the player base is a little bit small. So once you've reached the maximum in terms of guns, ammo, different types of loot that you can get, including clothing, other things that you can be crafting, or gaining reputation with the trade that you have as well as building renown on your actual players which gives you more skills and things that you can do faster and better the only thing really left to do is pvp and in that sense there might be a little bit of a lacking in that regard so i don't know if i'm necessarily going to want to vouch for this game quite yet i don't really want to betray my viewers by saying go ahead and buy this without weighing the pros and cons of this early access game but i say definitely keep an eye out this game is definitely not one that you want to be sleeping on and if you want to change a pace from the game's
games that you've been playing and you like the looter shooter variety, I definitely do recommend maybe spending that 30 bucks and getting the base game of this because it is 100% worth draining $30. I've already put in so many countless hours in the alpha to get to this point. I've definitely gone through the layers of come up to try to get to the point where I've got myself in a good position. I've got all my storage maxed out. I've got all the things that I wanted to find. I've fought all the bosses that I've wanted to fight. And then I get to the point where I'm just kind of waiting for players and I'm trying to chase gunfire. And sometimes it's just bots fighting bots. So just be warned that maybe there might be a point in this game where you find that you just don't really want to have fun with it anymore. That being said, this dev team has been putting a furious amount of stuff together. They've been listening to the community. So definitely check out their Discord. I'll be putting it in the link in the description below the video. But in terms of seeing what they've been doing, I think this is on the right track. It's going in the right direction. It just needs a little bit more work and obviously some more player base. So definitely keep that in mind when you're purchasing this game. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. Hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comment section below if there's anything you guys want to see about the game. There's definitely a lot more content, a lot more clips that I've got here. If you have any questions about what to do, I can definitely help out as best I can. So please ask. I've got a breadth of information about this game that has yet to come out. So stay tuned for more videos and keep it dialed. Thank you so much and ciao for now.